folks. It is day 63, I think. Um, and what, uh, what I'm posting today is some clips from my morning reading session. I read string quartets on viola Mondays and Friday mornings. And frequently that's going to be what I post on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, especially Mondays are very busy days for me. I just got home from teaching at the uh, one of the junior highs in town. I still haven't eaten today. Um, so uh, I'm gonna try to practice before my rehearsal tonight, but I'm not sure I'll get much practicing done because I need to relax. My body is angry after four days of non-stop only viola playing. Um, so here's some more viola. <laughs> um, the first video is the first movement of Stanislav Monieszko's first string quartet. He's a Polish composer and I think his quartets are absolutely delightful. We played the second quartet on Friday, which unfortunately uh, the videos are gone from my phone because I delete them uh, after they're uploaded to the Google Cloud and I can't cut them back down <laughs> from the cloud. Uh, so unfortunately I cannot uh, share with you the um, the second quartet, uh, which I think I think it's better than the first quartet. But we were also, that quartet reading it was a little more open-minded than the one reading it today. Even though they still, our first violinist on Friday was wary and didn't want to do something that he didn't know. And he said, we'll try one movement of it. Um, then we ended up playing the whole quartet anyway, because it was awesome. But then today, uh, a, we have a different first violinist and she was just like not having fun. She just thought that it was boring. Um, but I think they're really great. I think they'd be great for um, intermediate to like early advanced students uh, or professionals to, to just read. They're really quite accessible and very tonal, very pleasing. Um, so I'll type his name <laughs> in the description of this video. Uh, so you can go find those. Unfortunately, most of his output was for voice and piano. Uh, and then he did some masses in Polish and Latin, but most of his output was, um, was voice related, not string related. So we only have two string quartets from him. And I found a couple of pieces for orchestra, I think. I, I know I found one with an actual score um, that I might push the local city college orchestra director to find somewhere um, if we can get a copy of it. But I encourage you to look these up. Um, have them playing while you're making dinner or cleaning up the house or something because they're just so great. Um, and then the second clip from today is the first movement of, I believe it's Mendelssohn's Opus 44. I think it's 44 is his first set of string quartets, maybe. Unless these were actually the middle ones, which would make them 88? I don't know. I'm not checking this stuff. And I was silly and forgot to take a picture of what we played. Um, but anyway, um, here is the first movement of Monyashko's first string quartet and the first movement of some Mendelssohn string quartet. Um, and that's all you're going to get for today because I don't want to stress about eating and recording whatever I practice later or recording um, my rehearsal tonight because we have, this is our last uh, rehearsal before the first uh, concerts, first folk orchestra concerts um, for our second season. We have a second season. It's really cool. Um, yeah, so I, I just want to be fully focused on rehearsal tonight and relax until that point because I haven't 
seeing the chiropractor in a week and I spent all weekend like four days straight of playing viola um, in cramped spaces so my shoulders are pretty aggravated um, and I don't see the chiropractor until Friday <laughs> so I'm gonna be cramped again in a different spot today uh, this evening at rehearsal so I'm just I may not even play until then so here's some stuff from this morning